Dan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations, to show you an example of how inductive loading can shorten the length, or the, rather the height actually, of a quarter wave vertical antenna mounted at the ground. Of course you need your radials and you need your earth and you need your coaxial feed line and the impedance at this point will probably be somewhat below 50 ohms but any standing wave ratio up to 2 to 1 is just as good as a perfect match for all practical purposes. You can make this antenna shorter than it would be if it were a full quarter wavelength electrically by inserting a loading coil in series with the element. Usually the best place for that is roughly at the center of the radiating element. Uh, you don't want that value to be too large because you don't want to try to make this thing too short. But what you can do that way is to make your antenna a little less tall. It will also narrow the bandwidth of the antenna so that it won't operate over as broad a range of frequencies. However, a capacitance hat of this variety illustrated here can help to mitigate that problem to some extent while also making it possible to shorten the antenna even a little bit more. The best place for the capacitance hat is anywhere in the upper half of the antenna. Of course, you need to be careful because this thing will offer wind resistance. Uh, but if you manage to do that, uh, particularly on the high frequency bands at 40 and 80 meters, uh, this is a particularly useful scheme. But you do need a lot of ground radials. That's very important because otherwise your ground losses will be prohibitively high and will seriously degrade the performance of the antenna. Remember when you shorten an antenna like this you lower its radiation resistance thereby making ground loss uh, an ever more great consideration as you make the element shorter and shorter and shorter at a given frequency. But say at 40 meters a standard quarter wave length vertical would be 33 feet high you could shorten that to maybe 20 feet by using a scheme like this and still get just about the same bandwidth that you would normally with a 33 foot element. That's just an example of inductive loading and that is commonly used in amateur radio practice today particularly with quarter wave length ground mounted vertical antennas like this. Stan Gibalisco, W1GV Whiskey One, Good Vibrations, saying 73, which means best regards in ham radio jargon, and so long for now.